What's up everybody out here on the range? I'm gonna be doing another video today on the Lynx 12. I'm gonna be running about a hundred rounds through it. Um really gonna be focusing on the 10 round magazines today. So we're gonna see if we can finally get them reliably running. Uh no jams, no malfunctions, nothing like that. Let's see if we can run these, kind of break them in, and see how reliable we can get them to function. Y'all ready? All right, guys. Let's start with the SDS imports. 10-round magazine. All righty. Let's go. Let's see if we can get her to run with no malfunctions. All right. Six rounds in. Got a failure to go into battery. Just hit it with my thumb. Let's see. Ran the rest of them. So one stoppage, failure to go into battery. I'll take it. So we had one failure to go into battery on the first magazine of the day. Let's see how magazine number two goes. Alrighty. Uh oh. Had a failure to go into battery. I hit the trigger. Went back into battery. Let's see if we have a dead trigger or a live one. Dead trigger. See how we're going to have a double feed. So we'll have to take the magazine out. I'll let that one feed into the chamber. Uh-oh. All right. Let's see if we can get the magazine in there without having to... Yeah, I'll probably have to lock the breech open. So, that ain't going to work. Ah! Got a wardrobe malfunction going on right here. But this is all live. This is all happening as you see it. So, real test. Real test right here. We'll go ahead. We'll load this back in. Put that down. Lock up in our breech. Feed our magazine in. A little bit of a hiccup right there going into battery. Let's see what happens. Good to go. I mean, we had that small little hiccup and then it ran. So we'll see. All right. Got another mag loaded up. Fresh tin. And we are running all birdshot, low brass. The stuff that's not recommended for this shotgun. So, we're really testing the limits out here today. So, I got her locked open. Oh, no. I don't have her locked open. Let's lock that breech open. There we go. Let's do it. So as you guys just seen there, we got one of the 10 round magazines to run flawlessly. No stoppages, no hiccups, no failures to go into battery, failures to feed, stove pipes, nothing. We got our first 100% reliable 10 round. Awesome. So let's lock this bad boy open again. If I can get it locked open. <laughs> there we go. Sometimes you gotta do it a little more than you want to. Let's see if we can repeat that. Here we go. I think we broke this little thing in. Hell yeah. Leave a comment down below if you thought this thing was going to run flawlessly. And leave another comment if you thought it was going to run twice in a row flawlessly. 
Honestly, I didn't think so. I thought that was gonna jam up or something, man. That's crazy. Let's see what 12 gauge birdshot could do to some targets with some water in them and an empty wine glass, bottle, whatever. I'd say it does its job. <laughs> Let's see if we can't empty this magazine without getting another failure. There we go. Reliable. Even though I missed one of the shots on target, I'd say that was a good little result. So after reviewing that footage, um, I didn't miss actually. I just hit one of the uh, jugs kind of high and it didn't have the uh, energy to knock it over. So all said and done, I'm a perfect shooter. I don't make mistakes. So go ahead and leave a like if you are a perfect shooter as well. Let's see if we can repeat that last test to the T. Let's see if we can get 10 clean rounds through this, no stoppages, and knock all these off in one try. Let's see if we can do it. baby that's what i'm talking about 10 clean one hit each this one's being a little stubborn so i'm gonna set this one back up let's blow it out of here i think i got something for this pesky little jug let's see that's what i'm talking about so i didn't even know i had a stove pipe until walking back to my camera to reset it and i looked down I switched out to one of the KUSA magazines on that first shot. I got a stovepipe, but I'm 100% sure it's because I didn't shoulder the weapon while firing it. It's not going to get the uh, full cycle of energy if you don't shoulder it for the gas system to operate and the action to operate. So I really don't think that's a big problem. Again, that's just user error. So originally I said 100 rounds for this video. I realized... um. I only brought two boxes of 25, um, but I did have two five-round magazines. So we're going to run 60 rounds today. Um, so my bad on that, guys. Hope you don't mind. But it's been pretty interesting so far. I mean, did you guys expect this thing to start running pretty reliably? I mean, what's that, four 10-round mags in a row that ran without a stoppage? I'd say that's pretty good so far, you know. Um, again, a lot of the people that have great, uh, results and success out of this, uh, shotgun say you really have to break it in and it does become pretty reliable. So, I mean, I'm seeing that so far. You guys are seeing it too. Um, I really haven't ran this gun off camera that much. I mean, I probably ran 20 or 30 rounds or something like that off camera since the last time I uploaded um, and I think the results were the same I think I got one or two stoppages out of the 10 round magazine last time excuse me last time I ran them so I'm definitely seeing some improved results so let's load up another 10 see what we got going on all right I'm gonna dump these 10 rounds as fast as I can and then I'm gonna load up my next 10 and then we're gonna knock some targets down and that's all for today so Let's get this baby rolling. Whoops. I think I could have done a little better than that, to tell you the truth. Kind of forgot what I was doing, but I'll take it, man. Ten rounds, rapid fire. And we had no hiccups to that baby. Impressive. Impressive. I think I lied a little bit to you. That last one was only nine rounds through that that ten round magazine, uh, because I had to use the ammo out of my five round magazines to fill that one up. And since I shot that one jug with the one round out of the KUSA magazine, that only left me with nine rounds. 
But again, it ran all nine rounds without a hiccup. So I'll take that. Let's see what 10 rounds out of the 10 round magazine will do. Let's do it. That's what I'm talking about, man. And guys, I'm realizing this action is becoming buttery smooth. Just super, super smooth. So, I think today was a success. What about you guys? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments if you're impressed by these 10 round magazines and the reliability. I think we've gotten them broken in, guys. That's what's up. Oh yeah, I'll take that. All right, so what did we learn today, guys? Uh, one thing I know I learned today, uh, the bugs were not fucking playing. The bugs were out here to get in every crack and hole and orifice on my head and my body. Um, that did not feel good, but that's the price you pay for the games you play, you know? So, but what we really learned today is I think we broke the gun in um with all that round count we're at about 300 rounds through the gun give or take uh and that's the suggested break in round count around 300 i mean man for 300 dollars, the links 12 hard to not recommend it i mean i know we only have about 300 rounds through it so we'll really have to test it you know because 300 rounds ain't shit to a gun especially something like uh, an AK an AK forty seven pattern uh, firearm, you know, it's it's lived up. It's supposed to live up to uh, the reliability and expectations and reputation of an AK forty seven. And again, supposedly, uh, the Lynx twelve shotgun is built in the same factories or and or by the same people that made the Type fifty six AK uh, in China. So. If that's true, like I said, kind of high hopes because the Chinese AKs are some of the best AKs you can get. So, yeah, we definitely, we've definitely put this gun through its paces. Um, definitely tested out these 10-round magazines. When I first got them, you know, I wasn't really too sure about them. Um, but I figured I'd start with one of the cheapest 10-round magazine options you can get out there and go from there. And so far, I mean... We still got to do a little bit more testing with them, but I'm impressed, man. I got them for $25 a pop. So bang for buck. It's looking pretty good right now. Um, I do want to do an actual extreme torture test where I drop these things, maybe run them over, throw them, um, maybe even shoot at them. Who knows? Uh, if you guys want to see something like that, let that, know, let that be known in the comments below. If you guys want to see me torture test these SDS magazines. Um, my next big purchase for this gun, probably going to get the 10 round KUSA magazines and see how those go. Uh, and then go from there. I, I do want to end up getting one of the drums and running that, you know, I kind of got this gun, um, for a toy for a cheap $300 toy. And so far it's a fun toy. And I know there's not a whole lot of them out there. And on top of them being out there, there's not a whole lot of people making YouTube videos on them. So I figure, hey, why not make some YouTube videos on it and really get more information out there um, and help people make a purchase decision? You know, that's kind of my philosophy behind it. And guys, sorry about my head being clipped out of that frame. I'm just one guy out here in the woods, no tripod. I'm setting my phone up on rocks in the bag and trying to get it in position and I'm not a YouTuber by trade, so I'm just out here trying to get it, man. Just out here entertaining my viewers. <laughs> eventually, though, eventually I'll get a tripod. I want to get a GoPro, um, and you be able to actually see the gun in action and look down the sights with me, see what I'm shooting at, um, run through courses and stuff like that, you know? just getting my feet wet right now trying to make some content put it out there trying to get a little bit of a following you know 
and then I'll definitely sink more money into getting tripods and stuff like that. So to close it out, I think this gun's broken in. Um, I will be updating you guys. Hopefully it won't take another three weeks before I upload a new video. Um, I am working. I started a new job working a lot. So I got a few days off a week now. Um, I'll be able to go make more content. Uh, I just had another baby. So kind of busy right now. But I'm going to try my hardest to make more videos and upload a lot more. Um, like I said, I do plan on getting more magazines for this gun. I have other guns in my collection I do want to make videos on and talk more about, but I think I'll keep making a few videos on this, kind of get far on this one, and then we'll we'll change it up, make some more videos and up some other stuff. So guys, I appreciate you watching. 423 Ops out.